Your father asked us all to supper. I came early to ask if you could help Molly, Black George's daughter. Oh, yes. Father told me the story. He stole a sheep, didn't he? Black George is a power man. With big, hungry daughters to feed. Most hungry I can vouch for it. Well, I... One of the great things about Tom Jones, and indeed we'd seen it in some of the earlier Woodfall films, is that they bring together new faces. So in this case, um, Albert Finney, Susanna York with um, really established um, actors. So you've got people like Hugh Griffith. <laughs> It'll do no harm. Edith oh, Evans. Oh, Brother, I think you are a perfect goat. Good night, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Still you've got George Devine from the Royal Court appearing. Some of the crimes you accuse him of really sprang from his mistaken compassion for the gamekeeper and his family. So although it was a company associated with novelty and youth, was also very good at tapping into the best of what was already there. I think Tom Jones is consummately cinematic. Walter Lasley, who ended up photographing it, is one of the most important cinematographers in Britain during the period. Walter had developed his style working on many of the free cinema documentaries. Walter really created a very similar cinema verite approach to the cinematography of Tom Jones. A lot of it is shot in the hand, great flexibility, and you had uh, a lot of it shot wild with the sound being added on later. So there are certain scenes, particularly the famous hunt sequence, which uses a low loader, which uses helicopter shots, which is just as modern and cutting edge in its look and style as any of the previous Woodfall contemporary films had been. So it's this match of thoroughly modern cinematography and a period setting that really distinguishes Tom Jones.